How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is a match preview of Chelsea versus Valencia at Stamford Bridge in the UEFA Champions League. We're back, baby. Yeah, big game, exciting game, a few talking points which I'm going to get into in this video. But before I do, I want to ask that you do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And please do hit the bell notifications icon. You should subscribe because I upload every single day and if you want to help me out please do like the video right big game exciting game champions league football that anthem is returning to stamford bridge and it's an exciting time new players although i don't think maybe the youngsters will be playing in this game more on that in a moment but it's a nice fixture to tuck into to open the campaign not too hard not away somewhere in a difficult, say, cauldron atmosphere. Not too easy. Valencia are absolutely a good footballing team. Just right, and hopefully Chelsea can get the W here. Anyway, there's a few things to get into, so let's open up that analysis screen. Right, as you can see up on the graphic, this is Valencia's formation and lineup that they played last time out when they lost to Barcelona. It's a 4-4-2, as you can see. And hey, look, in the midfield, it's that familiar face, Francis Coquelin. He span all his way from the Emirates to a Valencia after Eden Hazard put him on the deck. But the most notable two people in this lineup for me anyway are the two centre forwards in Camero and Rodrigo both very capable goal scorers and as you know Rodrigo often starts for the Spanish national team so they're basically relatively elite marksmen and they'll be looking to score goals past a maybe shifted Chelsea defence. In terms of attack distribution Valencia are a very well balanced side they actually distribute their attacks down each third channel pretty much evenly it's approximately around 33 percent down the left right and the middle which is i don't know if really it's a good or bad thing basically they have options they're not a one-sided attacking team which could probably be good and bad for its own reasons as well but they have options to attack down either flank and they have no problem doing it any side basically so Chelsea won't know what to expect in terms of where the offensive action is going to come from in terms of the opposition. One thing Chelsea can be sure of is Valencia will try and play football. 85% of their passes are short passes they will try and keep the ball on the deck and play like a sort of quintessential Spanish side maybe like a sort of b-tech ticky tack of football but very rarely will they play long balls and that will sort of suit Chelsea I guess and to be honest I can't see them changing the way they play even away at Stamford Bridge in the Champions League but how will Chelsea line up against Valencia in this game well let's switch the graphic over to a potential Chelsea lineup sure the back three system looked really really good for Lampard in the Premier League the 3-4-3 free, free. I do fully expect for him to revert to type in this game and go to a back four system in fact on the back three system Really, I can only speculate seeing Frank implementing that again against opposition who play a back three themselves. Remember when Conte was at Chelsea and he was doing really well with the 3-4-3, opposition would revert to 3-4-3 to try and counter Chelsea. That's kind of what Lampard did against Wolves. I do see Lampard using it again in that situation and maybe against just really good offensive sides to be more defensively sound but in a game like this I do see him reverting back to the back four. I think Olivier Giroud will play a lot in the Champions League that was again me speculating I've said that for a while now and I think Christian Pulisic will come in for this game as he was rested last time out and if you look at how well Giroud and Pulisic played in the Super Cup against Liverpool I think they'll be looking to try and emulate similar performances in this game at home against Valencia. I can imagine Pedro coming in in the right wing position to complete the front three and in terms of general circulation and rotation I do see people like Kurt Zuma coming back, hopefully uh, Emerson in the left back position and maybe if he's fit enough and Golo Kante in the central midfield because that would be massive for Chelsea in this game. If not Kovacic can slip in there hopefully if he's rested enough. In terms of like other returning players like the youngsters I can't really see him coming back into the side until maybe the league cup game next week that'll be exciting I'm going to that so hopefully we'll see a few returnees then. Giroud needs to step up in this game use his positive attributes as a big strong centre forward and try and dominate the opposition centre backs. Pedro's going to have to look to combine with Giroud when in build-up play or indeed counter-attacks but I think Chelsea's biggest weapon here could actually be Christian Pulisic playing on the shoulder and running in behind 
like he did so well in pre-season and like he did so well against Liverpool in the Super Cup. Two really effective methods of offence there from Chelsea, build up combinational play of Giroud and Pedro and running in behind from Christian Pulisic. Right, let's talk a little bit more about how this game can go and the European campaign itself and Chelsea etc. Let's get rid of the analysis screen. Alright then, the midfield battle in this game will be really important for me. If Chelsea can win the midfield battle, I think they will win this game because personally I'm not sure Valencia will look to play long ball, even away at Stamford Bridge. It's not really their vibe. And if Chelsea can win the battle in the midfield at home, that would suit them perfectly. And also, Chelsea themselves need to not be afraid of using long ball. Like I've just previously spoken of, they can send long balls up to Olivier Giroud who can take it down on the chest, hold the ball up and then combine with the advancing forwards. Or again, the aforementioned running in behind from Christian Pulisic, absolutely play a long ball over the top. Pulisic can run in behind, take it, one on one, hopefully finish. So there's a few things to take into account there. Chelsea can dominate the midfield and do the good combinations. They've got enough talent up front to score goals, but they should absolutely send balls over the top for either hold up play or running in behind for 1v1s. But Valencia are going to be a big threat and this is going to be an important test for Chelsea and really well, it's their first Champions League game for a while, it's Frank Lampard's first Champions League game as Chelsea manager and it's a big, big game. Chelsea really do need a home win as well and this would be the perfect way to continue the feel good factor after the last game out against Wolves and get a decent home win. Obviously for me, the biggest concern will be defence because Regardless to how well Chelsea play, if they do dominate the midfield and if they do have these offensive options, reverting back to this back four, maybe having space between the lines for Valencia's forwards to play between the lines and combine with their short passes, that could be a danger, especially if um, out of form Kurt Zuma returns to the side, which can be a bit worrying. Hopefully that Champions League anthem will give the Chelsea players the tingles and they'll be absolutely on their A game. Either that, or they'll get terrified and concede loads of goals. <laughs> Another interesting factor in this game is, if you've looked at the Champions League squad, Frank Lampard and Jody Morris, and indeed Joe Edwards, have named everyone in this Champions League squad. Loads of kids. So expect people like Billy Gilmore on the bench, that if Chelsea get a couple of goals lead, he might come on again, or if Chelsea need a goal, maybe he'll come on. Um, and yeah, it could be an interesting lineup or certainly interesting subs if Chelsea are looking comfortable. I'm not sure Batshuayi will feature in this game personally. I think we'll see people like Mason Mount and Tammy Abraham on the bench because they will absolutely be gagging to play in the Champions League for Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, even though in reality they probably need to be rested for the Premier League. Um, if Chelsea are chasing the game, maybe they'll send on Mount and Tammy Abraham to get a goal. So personally, I'm not sure players like Michy Batshuayi will feature in this game. I actually think Batshuayi will be more a uh, domestic cups player and he'll probably try and play his way into the Champions League and Premier League teams a little bit more personally. But yeah, I generally do think Giroud will take the Champions League game. And maybe if Tammy's in superb form in the Premier League, come the latter stages of the Champions League, he might get a bit more of a chance to continue his good top tier Premier League form in the Champions League. But again, you can only really guess at this point. But I'm gonna put my neck on the line and do a score prediction. It's a really difficult one, right? Because although I've played if Chelsea can win this game, Chelsea haven't kept a clean sheet for a while, even when they're playing well. And if there is a rotated personnel in defense and it goes back to a back four system, Chelsea could be vulnerable. And although it would be really nice, I do see it unlikely of Chelsea keeping a clean sheet. But fortunately in the group stages of the Champions League, it's not like away goals count, you just need to get the W. So I'm going to say Chelsea win this game against Valencia at home, the opener, the first game in the Champions League under Frank Lampard. 3-1. I'm not going to name the goal scorers, but out of those three goals, I would really like to see Christian Pulisic get one. That would be huge for him, um, announcing himself at Stamford Bridge. That would be huge. Anyway, what do you lot think about this game? Do you think Chelsea can win comfortably? Are you concerned? Do you think Frank Lampard will revert back to the back four system? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I want to get maps, your lineups, who you think will be ready, who you think won't be ready, will Kante play, give me your score predictions, let me know your concerns, all that lot, get down in the comments and let me hear it. Remember guys, I want to plug if you want to support me and the channel and keep it going, you can support 
football therapy via donating a dollar or two to Patreon or Streamlabs. Links are in the description and if you do want to follow me on social media and see what I get up to, you can follow me on both Instagram and Twitter on at football Yannick at football Yannick um, that's it from me guys you enjoy the football and I will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living I'ma walk the walk outline my lines I rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chuck in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper sorry I don't I love me baby